Hi guys, welcome back to the 30 and 30, 30 videos in 30 days. My name is Mike. I'm Mackenzie. That is Mackenzie, and today is her video. Actually, technically, it's the animals video. Mackenzie wanted to bring you guys out and introduce you to all the animals on the ranch, and we got to thinking of a way to do that, and the way that we came up with was to show you the animals, but also, to make it a little bit more interesting, three little known facts about each one of those animals. Now, we're not gonna go through every single animal on the ranch, because that would take hours, but we do have them, you know, lumped together by we're not, species. We're not just gonna be like, okay, number eight, she is a sassy mama. Because <laughs> there's number eight right there. Okay, so we don't have any new calves this morning on the ranch. We've got a, a bunch of cows and calves, but they're all just hanging out. Doing calf stuff, doing doing mama cow stuff. Mackenzie, though, is very excited because today is also a very special day because it is somebody's birthday. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? It's my cow's Bambi. Bambi's birthday. Happy birthday, Bambi. You want to roll down your window and say hi to your cow there? Guys, this is Bambi. Bambi has been on the ranch now for eight years today. She is Mackenzie's pet cow and has been for those entire eight years. Maybe you should give her a piece of cake, sweetie. Tell her happy birthday. Happy birthday. Good girl. Do you remember Bambi when you were really little? No, I've just seen photos. Yeah, well, you liked her. You hung out with her when she was just a calf. And she was just as big as you were. You're so big now. Now she's so big. Mackenzie did something very special this year for Bambi's birthday that she's never done before. And if you don't know, Mackenzie is a bit of an artist. And this year, oh. she, uh, <laughs> do you want me to drive away so you're a little bit more protected? No, this year, she designed her very own t-shirt and it's a happy birthday Bambi t-shirt. And uh, so you can find that on our website, rwildlife.com. It is available for a limited time only, but today Bambi. in this video, you can get a chance to win a t-shirt of your very own signed by myself Bambi. And, Bam and Bambi and Bambi and Bambi and Miss McKenzie. All you have to do is leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to talk about that some more coming up. All right. You want to get started with your facts? Um, sure, we can. Since we're out here with the cows, we're going to drive away from Bambi and because she's uh, a little <laughs> insistent of our time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and like speeding up other cows for the attention. Yeah, we're going to drive up here because Mackenzie has three facts about cows that you may or may not know. Number one, cows eat grass and hay, and one of their favorite things to eat. Num and what else do they like? They like cow cake. Cake. And not actual cake. Number two is cows can smell you up to six miles away. Why does that help them? Predators. Oh, predators. <laughs> and what about the cows hearing? The cows, cows have better hearing than people. There you have it. Three cow facts that not even, well, I knew that cows eat cake and grass and hay, but I did not know that they actually hear hear better than people do. They hear in different frequencies uh, than we do, and that uh, really helps them being a, being a prey animal. Um, big big thing, big yes. big mm -hmm. plus if, you, if things are trying to eat you. So, yeah. very yeah. good deal. Uh -huh. All right, where are we heading to next, Kenzie? We're gonna go to the horses. All right, let's go see some horses. Okay. So we're still waiting for Bambi to have her calf. Uh, last year, her calf was born, well, not last year, Last year, she actually lost her calf. The year before that, um, she uh, had her calf on April 27th. So feel free to throw down in the description as well if you have a guess for when Bambi's calf is born. And those of you who win 
and get it right, we're gonna come back and double check and everybody that gets the date right will be thrown into a pool to win another free t-shirt. I'm gonna throw one in there as well. So say happy birthday to Bambi, get yourself a free t-shirt there if you subscribe and comment and uh, get entered into the pool and let us know when you think she's gonna have her calf. And if you're right, you'll get entered into another pool for a t-shirt of your choice from our website. Sound cool? Mm -hmm. To win, you have to um, comment happy birthday Bambi. Right. And throws down with the Bambi t-shirt. To win the Bambi t-shirt and you have to be subscribed. Correct. Some people may not know, Kenzie, that the ranch is actually divided by a highway. Mm -hmm. That there is a, a state highway that runs through the middle of the ranch. It has been there for for almost a hundred years. It started out as a two track. Now it's a it's a paved highway with 70 mile an hour uh, speed limits, which can be kind of exciting sometimes. But we I are ran on the, across it. You <laughs> ran across it before. That was gave your mom a heart attack. Uh, we are on the north side of the highway now, and we're gonna go over and see the horses. Let's go check them out. Come here, Bria. 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 Come here. All right. So tell us about our horses. Okay. Hi. So this is Bria. She is a quarter horse. Quarter horse. Quarter, yes. And you cannot ride her. Because you put a saddle, um, you put a blanket on her and she ran through the fence. Why is that? Um, she had a rough life. She's a rescue horse. So, And then coming up behind here, this is Hyro. Hyro is a draft paint mix. And he's our main working horse. Or he used more to be recreational a, riding horse at this point. And he used to be a barrel horse. He was raised as a barrel horse, yeah. Different size barrel horse. All right, Kenzie, what do you got to tell us about horses? Okay, so the first fact is that horses drink five gallons of water per day. That's a lot of water. They're more hydrated than I am. <laughs> what else you got? The fastest horse ever recorded was 55 miles per hour. Wow. That's a fast pony. And that's still slower than the speed limit by this place. Mm -hmm. And the last fact is that their teeth take up more room inside their head than their brain does. <laughs> <laughs> that's an interesting fact, Kenzie. Mm -hmm. Did you know that you have a little brain? Yeah, it's not that little. You got a big head. Well, he also has um, hydrochromia. Does. He does. What does that mean? He's eating the air. That's what he. He um he has different colored eyes. In this eye, he has a beautiful blue eye, and the other one, he has brown eyes. Yep. Come here, Hyro. Hey, Hyro. <laughs> Hyro. Okay. It's like they're done. I guess they're done with us. All right. Uh, where are we going next, Kenzie? Um, we are going to go out to the goats. Let's go see the goats. <laughs> so much better inside. Come on up here. Hi there, Jack. This is Jack, you boy. Oh, here comes Yoda. <laughs> Hi, Yoda. No, 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 no. No. Goats were the first animal to be domesticated. <laughs> They're trying to eat me. Okay, sec the second fact is fainting goats, Jackie boy here, they don't really faint. They just tighten up their muscles, and it looks like they're fainting. What's your third fact? The third fact is that goats might have discovered coffee. That one's true. Um, actually, what happened was uh, a, a farmer in Ethiopia uh, found that his goats were full of energy. Now, this was thousands of years ago. And his goats were full of energy, and he couldn't figure out why. So he followed them to see what they were eating. And when he found the berries that they were eating, he tried them himself. And he felt pretty good, too. And he discovered caffeine. All right. We have our next animal to get to, which you think would be a chicken. Should it be a chicken since we're in here? Sure, why not? All right. Come on out, Kenzie. Can you, can you get out of here? You need help? All right. All right. Say goodbye to your goats. My bye, goats. And we're gonna move right in here. Well, let's go into the chicken side of the chicken house. Where they're all gonna run out. So, some of these chickens in here laying eggs, doing chicken things. The first fact is that chickens are omnivores. Um, <laughs> what are they? Omnivores. Omnivores. <laughs> yes. What does that mean? They eat everything. They eat everything. They won't eat you. 
chi the second fact is that dre chickens dream while they're sleeping. That one I found pretty interesting. They actually measured the random eye movements or the REM of chickens' eyes, and they realized they're dreaming. I don't know what they dream about. What do you think a chicken dreams about? Uh, food. Food, probably. Yeah. And chickens actually play with each other. Is for the third fact. They do. Chickens have a lot of fun, run around, and in the summertime, they're always playing. And there's a hat chicken. <laughs> She's scared. <laughs> that oh, was like a jump scare, there's Kenzie. A chicken hiding here. There's a chicken there. How many chickens do you think we have? Over a hundred. Over a hundred chickens. All right, what is the next animal on our list? Donkey. We have to go outside for that Yay. one. Yay! Okay. This is Ethel, the newest addition to the ranch. She's a pregnant miniature donkey who is due in August. Cool. What can you tell us about donkeys, Kenzie? Uh, the first fact is that in Oklahoma, it's illegal to let a donkey sleep in your sleep in your bathtub after 7 p.m. Why 7 p.m.? We have no idea. <laughs> For the, those of you who live in Oklahoma, tell us why that's illegal, <laughs> please. And the second fact is donkeys can live up to 50 years. Wow. And the third. How old is she? Do you know? She's 10. She's 10. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the third fact is. Um, donkeys the same size as horses can actually be stronger than them. Wow. So if you had a donkey, if you had a donkey the size of Hyro, <laughs> it would be like Superman. Uh huh. And these are goats, by the way, but we already talked about that. They're miniature goats, They're not miniature babies. They're miniature goats. Not babies. All right, we have a couple more. I don't think we've missed any animals, have we? Um, uh, no, I don't think. All right, we have a couple more animals to talk about. And those we have to go to the house for. All right, and those ones we have to go to the house. So, this is our dog, Bean. Bean is a Catahoula leopard dog. Um, Who smiles. She thinks she's a cattle dog, but she's not really, and she's just kind of a family dog, but that's okay. She, she likes to get out and help occasionally. She, she's a calf cattle dog. Yeah, she's a Even calf Even though the dog. calves occasionally chase her. Yeah. Can you sit, Bean? Right. Can you sit, Bean? <laughs> Bean? She's like, what is this? Okay. All right. What are your facts of what are your facts about dogs? Some dogs can so number one, some dogs can actually be faster than cheetahs. Faster than cheetahs. Faster than cheetahs. How does that work? Because a cheetah can run like 75 miles an hour. But they get tired quickly. Oh. And dogs can run longer. With Okay. Okay, next one. So um, fact number two is that your dog can be right or left-handed. Very cool. Are you right or left-handed, kiddo? Do you know? Shake. <laughs> okay, and the third fact is that dogs have 18 muscles in their ears. Whoa, show me your ears. Where are your ears? <laughs> 18 muscles. 18. You have eight. They're itchy too. Oh, well. <laughs> Do you have an itchy ear? No. All right, Kenzie, we're almost done. I have one more animal to go. One more animal to go. Then we're gonna head back out to Bambi and give her her birthday present. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay, so tell us about our next animal, our last animal on the ranch. Okay, Okay. so our first fact is when cats climb trees, they can't go back down head first. They have to do it um, butt first. <laughs> Cause, butt first, backwards. Cause, Cause their claws are facing the same way. And I think that'd be a little bit harder for him because he has three legs. Yeah. This is three foot, by the way. He's okay. running. He's Wait. running away now. Now you need another cat. I need to go. I got another one. All right. Uh huh. What's your uh, cat fact number two? A group of cats is called a clouder. Cloud clouder. A clouder. And this is Cloud. Wow. AKA Chonker. He's our fat boy. I need one more. <laughs> okay, you're very squirmy. Black cats are often bad luck in North America, but in you, what is that? 
in Euclid? Y in Euclid. In UK? UK? Oh, yeah, because the, 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 the goats ate her paper. UK and Australia. And UK and Australia, Australia, they're usually good luck. Very cool. What's this cat's name? This is Midnight. You see Midnight has a hole in her ear, and that shows us that she's been fixed. It was and she also wants to run away. And she's supposed to be a barn cat, but for some reason she's in the house. All right, Ken, you ready to head back out? Yeah. All right, let's get uh, Bambi's birthday present, and, and we'll head out that way. Yes. Okay. All right, Mackenzie, you've got... We got a present. <laughs> we got a present for Bambi. I don't think a hamburger bag is in bad taste, do you? Mm, I don't know. I mean, we are never going to turn Bambi into hamburger. That is true. Bambi will never become hamburger. She has earned a special place. As a pet cow. As a pet cow, yeah. She's like, Kenzie's too slow. <laughs> no, other side. I'm not messing with you. Go around. Bambi, do you want bread? You spit it out. No, maybe she'll eat it. Bread? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think she likes it. <laughs> oh, no. This is bad. She likes the bread. Try it one more time. Bambi, bread? No, she doesn't like it. Okay. Well, that's okay. I'll Bert. eat it then. You'll eat it. How about some cake, Bambi? Birthday cake? Birthday cake. No, she's sleeping. Everybody keeps saying that number 10 is Bambi. So <laughs> now we call number 10. What do we call her? Not Bambi. Not Bambi. <laughs> that's her right there. And then that's Bambi. They are very different. Let's see if I can get her back on your side, sweetie. Give her some cake. Make up to her. About her not liking your birthday present. I have to get her another one. You know what? Your birthday present is Wyoming being nice and giving you green grass to eat. Right, Bambi? Hey, who's this one? This is not Bambi. AKA number 10. Bambi wannabe. Bambi wannabe? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Girl. Alright. And Bambi's number is 98. So whenever you're about to say, hey, I saw Bambi in the video today, you gave her a piece of cake and she was the one who had the first cap. No, that was number 10. Bambi's ear tag is 98. Alrighty, that is the end of today's 30 in 30 Mackenzie's Animal Facts and Bambi's birthday. Be sure to comment below, throw out a happy birthday for Bambi to get entered to win this t-shirt. This right here. This is designed by Mackenzie and the winner of the t-shirt will be able to, well, we'll sign it. Bambi will sign it somehow and uh, we'll ship it off to you. Also, you can purchase this t-shirt online uh, at ourwyomilife.com. It's only going to be available for a month, so a rather month? Like a month. Okay, so there we go, available for a month. Also, if you would like to get entered in for the pool for when Bambi's going to have her calf, make sure that you comment below as well. Put in the date that you think she'll have her calf. All of those that are correct will be entered to win another t-shirt 
from our wine and life of your choice. Now so, we're gonna go celebrate Bambi's birthday. We are. It's also another very special holiday here on the ranch and a holiday for you as well. And we wish you and your family a very happy Easter. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Mackenzie, for making a video today and making my life a little bit easier. And now Mackenzie gets to learn how to edit. So thank you guys. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the 30 and 30 on our Wyoming Life.